For the first zero camera, you're going to go on canal and look at this light pole right here. Once you see the bottom line actually appear on the crosshair, you can shoot your zero camera. This zero camera can see into these windows into the actual site upstairs. So if you're attacking the second floor site, this is great for just general information. Another camera that's great for information is if you repel right here next to this AC vent and you put a zero camera on the wall. And then you open this window right here. Once you get on that zero camera, you have a clear line of sight into that window. So that's two points of information you have on the top floor site that they're never going to find. But Zero still has two more cameras. The third of which you're going to put somewhere in 90. Personally, I like putting it behind this red thing right about there. And this can watch all of 90. And because it's behind this thing, it actually is protected a bunch. And you can zap the 90 camera right here. So it's a great camera. An even better camera, though, is the one in printer right here. All you got to do is shoot it in the top corner just like this. And now it'll watch your staircase for your flank if they push up your staircase. But it can also see all the way into Skybridge all the way over there all the way to that wall. It's crazy good if you're trying to attack, and now you pretty much have all of your bases covered if you want to attack top floor on canal. As a little bonus zero camera, in case you're trying to attack the basement, a great zero camera you can do is just literally anywhere in scuba. Personally, I really like the one that just goes on yellow stairs here. No one's ever really going to look on the staircase for a camera, but the cool part about this is it can still watch the flank, but the primary point is it can see into the side door, so that's cool too. Now that was just 5 out of 75 different zero cameras that I'll be going over in today's video, and these cameras get crazier and crazier as the video goes on, so make sure you stick to the end. Speaking of, our next cameras are going to be for bank. For the first camera, make sure you repel up to the right side of the main three doors here and break open this window. Your zero camera is going to go anywhere on the ceiling of bank lobby here. This camera will see all of Bank Lobby and even into ATMs a little bit. It can see the banana stairs, the banana hallway into Trump. It's really, really good. It gives a lot of information. You can zap the default camera and because of how big the ceiling is, I've actually not had this camera found a lot in my ranked games ever unless they have like a Solus or something. So this is one of the best zero cameras arguably in this video. Some other good zero cameras to complement this one is the next one inside of Tellers just like this. If you're trying to get the hatches open or you just don't want to get flanked downstairs, this camera can see all of tellers, so you don't have to worry about getting flanked from either of the teller doors or from the desk. However, you do have to be worried about getting flanked from marble stairs, so what I'll do is I'll throw a camera in tellers on this wall, and then you can just flip it around so it faces the hallway, zap this default camera here, and now you have a flank camera for every possible place you can get flanked. Now, if you want to push from square instead, you can put a Valkyrie camera somewhere on the skylight right here. Not only will this watch all of Square if you don't want to get flanked, but it can even see into the janitor hall and into the common head holes that are right over here if they're playing on the top floor site, so it's another great Valkyrie camera for bank. Next, let's move on to one of Zero's best maps, Theme Park. And this first camera should show you why it's one of his best maps. For this camera, all you have to do is shoot it into this little gap right here. And now you have a camera that can watch all of Bottom Dragon, Top Dragon, into Maintenance, into the Cache Hallway, into the Reception Door and the Vault Door, and even into Cache. It is an outstanding camera. It can also see into Reception, into the Hallway Upstairs, and into Initiation. So, I mean, out of all the cameras in this video, again, this is one of the best ones you're gonna get. I think you can begin to see why this is such a good Zero map. Like, it's just, it's just absolutely crazy. The main reason that this is such a good map though is because any map that has really open areas like this, like bank or like theme park, you can hide zero cameras super well, which is why the next zero camera is going to go in top arcade. Personally, what I like to do is put it at the top of this stem for the UFO chandelier right here. It blends in super well with the actual pole and it kind of just looks like it's an anchor holding up the UFO and no one's really going to look at that and see it as a camera. But as you can see, it sees all of bottom and top arcade, the arcade stairs, even into bunk, so it's a really, really good camera for your flank. Let's say, though, that you want to push the downstairs instead, and you want a flank camera that can kind of watch this. Well, a good zero camera is in the drug lab drone hole right here. This zero camera can watch all of the flanks necessary for yellow stairs if you're trying to maybe do a barrels push and you want to know if they're coming on your left. For the final zero camera, all you have to do is make a hole inside of CC in the floor right about here. And then you can shoot a zero camera in the actual floor just like this. And then now you have a zero camera that can watch maintenance. And obviously the more soft floor you destroy, the better it's going to be. But abusing soft floors like this in any map for zero cameras is going to be really good. Because it's the last place any flanking defender is going to expect a camera to be. Now let's move on to one of the best maps in the game, Oregon. The first zero camera for Oregon that's really good is the one that goes on this trophy wall right here. 
Now, this can see a lot of information and trophy, but specifically if you flip it over, it can see a lot of attic as well. And if you keep flipping the cam and you're staying on it, you can actually get a lot of really useful information for your push. An even better camera for Oregon is this one that goes in this small tower corner right there. Because of the black lining of the ceiling, the zero camera really blends in. But it also gives you information on anybody in the actual small tower or anybody in lower small tower, which is good if you're trying to maybe get a flank cam or you're trying to actually push kitchen. If you're trying to push the basement site though, then a zero camera I definitely recommend is one that is in the corner right here. This zero camera can see all of 90, even into the site door onto the default plants, into the other site, into the other site double door over here. It can give you a sound call for anybody on the staircase, and it gives you a lot of information, arguably the best camera for this map. If as zero you have hard breaching charges and you're trying to get hatches and you want a good flank camera for meeting, you can come into main lobby and throw one under the bench and split right here. This camera will watch anybody coming in to split on the flank. You can also get the default camera with this and it's just a good flank camera for you if you're trying to get that hatch open again, like I said. Now for whatever reason, the camera just floats here. It doesn't actually go back. They made it a thing with Valkyrie cameras too. It's kind of a glitch, but it definitely still works. Uh, so try it out. <laughs> Next, let's move on to an arguably much better zero map, which is Cafe Dostoevsky. A really nice zero camera that you can get is under this wooden ledge right here. Now, this zero camera can watch all of Pillar, even the top floor. It can watch New Hatch, the default plant, as long as you, like, destroy this wooden bench a little bit more. And it can zap any utility that might be, like, a proximity alarm or something for the New Hatch. So, it's one of the best cameras that you can get on this map. Another outstanding zero cam is the one that goes under this desk in Restaurant right here. This zero camera can give you a sound call for anybody coming down the brown stairs into the white hall and whiskey and restaurant, but mainly it can see all the way into small bakery and all the way into coat check, so it gives you a lot of long, useful angles if you're attacking the kitchen bomb site. Another great, useful zero camera for bakery is the one that goes above the bakery shelves just like this. This camera can see all of bakery. Enough said, it's a great camera. Let's move to a much more popular map though, which is Clubhouse. For the first zero camera, I recommend you put it in the top left corner of Clubhouse Rafters, just like that. This camera can see all of Rafters and Lower Garage, and it can also slightly zap the default camera right over there, so you can still deny information while getting a bunch of it in the process. Another great zero camera is the one that goes behind the TV right here in Bar. You can get even more information by destroying the TV in front of it, and now if you get on your camera, you can see all of Bar, even into Billiards, and all of Stage, and the flank from Lounge. So if you're playing Vert, having this as a flank cam is a great idea, and you're also able to get the default camera too in the process. If you want a flank cam that can watch your main stairs when you're playing Vert, then all you have to do is stick a camera somewhere in Bathroom on this black part of the bottom of the wall, just like that. Now it can watch into the hall, so if someone comes into the hall from main stairs, you'll know about it and you can get a free kill. Another great zero camera for the basement is this one, right here, in blue. This camera can watch your blue stairs flank and your oil pit flank as well, while also getting a bunch of information into armory. Now the final zero camera that I can give you that's actually pretty decent is the one that goes in this corner right here, inside of armory. This is really good because if you get the plant down in the default spot, you can see pretty much everywhere that they would want to push to deny your plant for information in the post plant, which is really powerful for you. Next, let's move on to Emerald Plains. The first camera I'm going to give you is above the gap in Emerald Plains, above Fireplace, right here. This camera gives you a bunch of information on anybody in painting, anybody in statue, but it can also get a long angle onto the site rotate in meeting as well as anybody in library. And you can also zap the default camera. Oh, wait, never mind. You can't go up enough, but you get the idea. You can at least see the default camera and then shoot it. So it's just a really, really good camera. Another great camera for Emerald Plains is right above these vines on top green stairs right here. This can watch all the way into the green hallway. And because it's surrounded by plants and a huge green glass mural, it hides the zero camera very well and can give you a flank camera for green stairs too. You can get the exact same effect as well on orange stairs if you just throw up a camera on this orange plating right here. Not only are you actually able to get the default camera this time, but you can watch all of orange stairs and all of into orange hall as well, which can be very important if you're doing a backside take and you need to watch your flanks. For the final zero camera, I actually recommend you put it next to this black suitcase right here. This is specifically good if you're trying to attack this site or the upstairs site here, because it can watch the green flank, but it can also watch all the way into reception for any roamers. Once you put this camera down, you can shortly shoot the default camera after, so it's just a really good strategy to use. Next, let's move on to a really good map for zero, which is Chalet. 
The first zero camera for Chalet is going to go on the top left of the blue stairs right here. You can get the default camera while also watching all of Display Hall, Top Blue, and Mid Blue as well, and you can watch onto the head holes and the piano double door as well. It's a great flank cam for attacking the top floor. Another great flank cam for watching the top floor is the one that goes in the top fireplace corner right here. This can also zap the default camera watching all the top fireplace and bottom fireplace again for a good flank camera. If you want a flank camera on all three staircases without having to actually go to each individual one on the map, including solar stairs, you can just break open this window and through the bathroom window and the door you can shoot one into solar right here. And now you have a flank cam in solar and fireplace and blue just because you decided to attack the library site so I thought I'd also add that in there. For the next zero camera, you're going to come into the basement of Chalet, the big garage, and then you're going to shoot out this portion of the floor right here. Then you can shoot your zero camera under the dresser that you see. And now you have a zero camera that watches split, so if anyone's trying to flank you from solar, if you're doing a top take, you can watch that from under this desk. Now, if you're ever outside the actual big wall of Chalet and you want a camera to watch the actual basement site, you can just throw one under the boat right here. And this zero camera can give you a lot of information onto where anybody is, whether they're tricking the wall or, you know, whether they're on the rotate right here. You can kind of see a lot and you can get a sound call for blue stairs and main stairs as well. So it's a great camera for sound calls specifically. Now, earlier we talked about a good flank camera for top blue, but we didn't talk about one for watching bottom blue. And if you want one, all you got to do is put one under the dresser right here. The zero camera can see bottom blue. Hey there. And I can also see a little bit of top blue into mud room, into games, into the hallway. You get the idea. It's good if you want to push basement and you need a flank camera for blue stairs. Another great map for zero, surprisingly, is actually Nighthaven Labs. Again, open space, gonna be your friend. A good zero camera for Nighthaven Labs is the one behind the plants in rafters right here. You can zap the default camera right here and you can also see all of top rafters. So if you're ever trying to push rafters, you can shoot that camera from downstairs, from the doorway over there. Doesn't really matter. It's just a good zero camera for top floor. If you're pushing back site and you want a flank camera though, you can easily just put one right here. This can watch the back stairs and even into the back hallway, the door here, the door into there. And overall, it's just a really good zero camera. Now the final zero camera that I'll go over for Nighthaven Labs is a zero camera that you can get for these back server stairs here. All you gotta do is shoot it into the skylight, just like that. Now the zero camera can watch the stairs, and trust me, no defender will ever find this. It's never been found, at least in my ranked games. Next, let's move on to Outback. The first really good zero camera I have for you is in this archway right here. This is also a good Valkyrie camera spot if you're on defense, so you can use this too, but you can see all of Garage, the garage stairs for the flank, and even into office. So if you're doing a back site take to take laundry, this is really good. Another great zero camera is the one that goes on the top right of the yellow stairs right here. This zero camera can see all the way into piano and all the way into dorms while watching the flank for yellow stairs if maybe you're pushing party in office. So it's a great camera. Another staircase you need a zero camera on is the shark staircase and the best zero camera that I can give you is in this corner right here. You get all of top shark even into picnic and the shark stairs and you even get some view into restaurant. So it's one of the best cameras on this map. Another camera that's really, really good is the camera that goes on this hotel sign. This camera can watch all of this room, obviously, but it can also watch Bottom Shark and even all the way into the long hall over there. So it provides a lot of information and no defender is ever going to find that. Now, the final zero camera that I'll give you for Outback is the one that is slightly above this Hanley sign right here. This can watch all of your reptile hallways. So if you're trying to push bedroom, this is the best zero camera that you can get on the entire map. Now let's move on to a different map, which is Skyscraper. The first zero camera that I have for you is in the wine case, just like this. This zero camera can see the majority of anywhere in first floor. So if you need a zero camera that can watch your flank for the brown stairs, this is one of the best ones that you can get. But it's also just a good general information camera, especially if you're pushing kitchen and barbecue. So I love this camera personally. And the best part about it is you can actually shoot it all the way in from bathroom. So you can get information on the first floor immediately when you hop in. The next zero camera is going to go in mini bar and you can literally just shoot it in one of the cabinets here and it blends in perfectly with all of the other pottery in the cabinets so it actually won't get found a lot but it still has a clear line of sight into anyone in mini bar anyone in the hallway so if you're pushing karaoke from backside this can watch every single one of your flanks because they all have to funnel in through this room in house next to house stairs anyways so it's a great flank camera that probably won't get found Another great zero camera might seem a little weird, but you're going to put it on the left side of this double door just like this. After breaking this vase here, this Valkyrie camera through the typical feet holes can see into drum and into terrace. And if you actually move around this debris a little bit, give me one second, just shimmy it along over here. 
that's a much clearer view. You can see all the way into terrace, all the way into drum. So if you need a flank cam for your drum door into terrace because you're trying to plant inside of office, this is a really hidden camera that no one will find. Now the final zero camera that I'm going to give you is behind this bonsai tree right here. Because it's behind a bonsai tree, it kind of blends in as like part of the plant if anyone looks at it. But also it can see into downstairs, into the reception desk. It can see up to house stairs and anyone that's downstairs below. So it gets a lot of information if you're pushing a downstairs site. A map that is much better for zero though is Villa. The first zero camera that I can give you for Villa is the one that's behind these two pots under the red bench right here. You have a clear view into 90, you're also able to get the 90 cam, and you can also see into Aviator. So it works as a flank cam for either of the upstairs sites, and it's one of the best ones you'll get on this map. Now, like I said earlier in the video, having flank cams for staircases is really important. So the next one that I recommend you have is in the top right corner, just like this. This camera obviously can see main stairs, that's the whole point. But it can also see top main if you're bottom main and needing a camera to see if anyone's above you. So it's good for that reason too. If you want a camera that can see both red and both top main, a 90 camera for instance, then putting one slightly to the right of this pot right here is really good. This can see top red, it can also see into the main hallway, and it can also see in a 90 and get the default camera. So it's arguably one of the best zero cameras in this entire video. Now if you're pushing the Aviator Games site, you want a flint cam for Astro, so the one that I personally recommend is the one that goes in this corner right here. You can still slightly get the default camera right here, but it also sees a lot of Astro stairs and into Astro, so if you flank up a staircase, you'll know about it. If you're trying to attack the downstairs sites, a great camera that you can do is in front of the jungle plants right here. This can see pretty much all of jungle and the hallways that lead into it, so it's just a great camera for the first floor site of dining and kitchen. And then the final zero camera that I'm going to give you is going to be for bottom main. What you can do specifically is put a camera literally just outside this door right here on the door. And because it's outside, they're not really going to expect it to be here since everybody really looks inside for zero cameras. But it still sees all of bottom main just the same. So if they're trying to flank, you'll know about it and they really won't find the zero camera. Now let's move on to consulate. The first zero camera that I'm going to show you is actually behind the leaves of this plant on top yellow. You're just going to shoot it right there. This zero camera is hidden by the leaves pretty well, but it also watches top yellow and even into the closet right here. So it's a great flank camera if you're pushing the top floor. Another flank camera that you need is a flank camera for spiral stairs. Personally, I recommend one on the archway right here. This will watch all of spiral stairs and even into the reception desk, but you guessed it, you can also get the default camera. So it's a pretty good camera. If you're doing a back psych take to get the plant down over here, then a zero camera somewhere in this window is really good because it can watch all of the admin hallway and even into reception so you'll know if you're getting flanked. And you need a default camera. Now if you decide to push the basement instead, there's a few zero cameras that I can show you. The first one being in the basement hall right here. This can see the entirety of the basement hall and if they're trying to sit behind these head holes to watch a yellow door, you can actually see them doing it and ping them for your teammates. If you decide to come down spiral though and go through this hall, you can quickly shoot a zero camera right here as well. This will watch a hallway for the exact same reason that we discussed earlier and you can get a default cam, so it's pretty nice. If you decide to push the wall or the yellow door though, you can get a zero camera in the top right corner here to watch the default plant, it's typically like right there. And being able to see the majority of garage is just great for a zero camera, so this is the best one in the entire map in my opinion. Next, let's move on to Coastline. Now, a lot of people will play like Glass or Cali or the scoped DMRs in ruins to get information onto anybody in the double window, but why do that when you can just get a zero camera to do that for you? You know what I mean? And all you gotta do is put it right here, and then that zero camera will watch in the double window. So now you got information on the double window, and then if you end up opening the door too with like your gone six or something, it can see into hookah too. So like this is just a really, really good outside zero camera. If you want an actual like inside camera though, you can just go into aqua and then put one in the aqua wall right here. And then this zero camera can see all of aqua and into luggage, so it's a good flank camera if you're trying to push the bomb so you can get a plant down right here. Another really crucial camera that you'll need is a camera somewhere in 90, and chances are they're not going to find this camera because they're too busy like actually looking at the hallway and stuff, you know, look down there. So this camera does stay hidden most of the time. You can get information into 90, you can get the default camera, so it is pretty nice. Another great zero camera is the one that goes above this shelf in blue bar. Not only do you have a visual in blue bar, but you can see all the way into the cool vibe stairs. So it's a good flight camera if you're playing in hookah and you don't want to have somebody just sneak up your cool vibes and deny your plant. The final camera that I'll give you is actually one under the coastline bench right here. 
it's really good because you you have like an actual camera in hookah that gives you a full 360 visual so if you planted somewhere you can get a visual on actually when and where they're diffusing so it's great for post plant situations or just info if anybody is on the cool vibes rotate or the 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 vase hallway you know it's it's pretty nice you can get visuals on the hookah bar too so it's a good camera now let's move on to border the first camera that I'll give you for a border is on the top east hallway next to this shelf here on the wall, just like that. This might seem really obvious to anybody walking up east stairs, but if you're pushing top floor, nobody really walks up east stairs for a flank. It's more for the actual 90 hall if you're pushing CC, which can be really beneficial, especially if you're trying to like spawn peek from this door, spawn peek from this window. You can get a visual on that as well. So I find this is really good as like an early round cam, especially if you're trying to roam clear this side of the map. Something that'll be useful for the entire round though is if you get on top of this desk and you shoot a zero camera above the TVs just like that. This zero camera gives you a pretty good visual into CC, obviously not like in the CC desk, but you're able to shoot out some of these TVs as well to make it just a tad bit easier for you to see into CC. And now you have like a pretty good camera setup for your flank if you're trying to get the main wall open. Something else that's super underutilized when it comes to zero cameras on this map is this huge dome right here. You can just throw a zero camera into this dome, like let's say, I don't know, right there. And now you have a great camera for all of office, even into fountain and into the site that you can use. So it's a really good camera. If you're attacking bathroom, you really essentially need a zero camera on top square somewhere. And I find that this one right here does me wonders. It can see top square even into the hallway, but it can also see bottom square into both of the windows, into the doorway here, the doorway here, bottom square. It's a pretty nice default camera for zero. If you're attacking somewhere like vent or maybe even into customs having a zero camera right here in this little gap is amazing because it allows you to see into the entire bathroom hallway bottom square into this desk area into customs into the hallway even into the workshop door uh and you guessed it you can get a default camera too for the satisfaction so it's a really really good camera if you're attacking any of the first floor bomb sites for border now the final zero camera that I'm going to give you is right under this TV right here. This zero camera can see all of bottom square and even the east staircase as well as even the top floor hallway, but mainly it can see into bathroom. So it's great if you're attacking bathroom and you maybe want to like get information on anybody in there. It's pretty nice. Now let's move on to the final map addition in Siege, which is layer. For the first camera, come into is this storage hall? I can't fucking tell. For the first zero camera, come into the storage hall on the top of green stairs and shoot a zero camera right there. If you're attacking the second floor from the secondary wall, it can give you a flank camera that's really necessary for you, and I find it to be pretty helpful. If you want to push from the reception door and go up the reception stairs instead, a camera that you should really, really trial out is this camera right here. Not only does it let you see like all of reception, but you can see into this little 90 hallway where they have like heddles here, a wall here, a player here, traps here, heddles here, a wall here. So just having information on anybody and any piece of utility and site setup is really important right here. If you want a camera that can better watch this hallway though, then you can literally just put it behind the default camera right here. And you guessed it, you can zap the default camera for satisfaction, but you also get a much better visual onto anybody in 90 if that suits your taste better. For my second to the last zero camera, it's if you're attacking the basement of layer. What you'll do is you'll shoot it onto the yellow railing right about here. And then this zero camera will allow you to get a huge visual onto anybody in the hallway that I'm standing in, but also anybody inside of Big Garage. So it is a great camera. If you're pushing the basement site though, and you want a flint camera that can watch your yellow stairs, all you need to do actually is put a zero camera somewhere in barrels like right here. Now you can watch your yellow stairs, get a default camera, watch big garage, watch the double door here, watch pretty much anybody in this room. So it's a great flint camera if you're pushing maybe this side of the map over here uh, or any side of the map from where you spawned over here. So it's a great default camera for zero on layer. And with that out of the way, that is my 75th and final zero camera. My name's Alka. Check out this next video. And I hope we'll see you there. Later.